boys. This review is going to be for Nook for Android, uh, which is a competitor to Kindle. Uh, Nook has released an e-reader uh, that runs on Android, actually, and some people have taken to hacking it and uh, you know running all kinds of other apps. But if you have an Android phone, you can actually download Nook and read right on your phone. Uh, it works on the Evo, anything, yeah. uh, 1.6 or greater, which covers, I think, most everything except the Samsung Behold 2. So, <laughs> Oops. just gotta make sure I get my one uh, good digging against Samsung for the for the episode. Um, but Nook, of course, has more than a million books, uh, and I I brought up this as a competitor to the Kindle. Uh, we reviewed the Kindle app before, and it actually did not work for us at all. Uh, well, I mean, the app came up just fine, uh, but when you tried to actually read something, which is what the app was for, uh, it just it would not work. Didn't do anything. That's not good. So, uh, this one, I've actually selected Alice in Wonderland, uh, which is a free book on the Nook store. And I've been having our uh, our nine year old son read it over the summer. He's actually gotten into it, I think, a little bit. Cool. Um, but this is really cool. It has a sliding indicator on the bottom. I think if you hit the menu buttons uh, when it comes up. Well, anyway, when you first launch it up, it lets you kind of flip through. Um, but this also has a nice page curl uh, turning method. Ah, uh, there you go. Turn down your what tickle app. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Brad's tickling over here. But when you rub it, if you if you go slow on it, it, it does kind of give a nice smooth scrolling oh, yeah. uh, thing. And this is on a G1, too. So i got to say I'm pretty uh, pretty impressed with it. But you should be able to hit menu, go to. It has pretty good chapter uh, features on here. Pretty easy to skip through to anything. Does it have, like, bookmarking and, like... One thing that I thought was kind of cool on some of these reader apps, you have like, um, you have the opportunity to highlight selected text and share it, or like annotate it. That's kind of cool. Sometimes does it do any of uh, that kind of stuff? I know the Nook might do that, but Nook, yeah, yeah, I don't think it does. No? Okay, <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, I brought well. up that uh, that mechanic right here by tapping. So why did it, it take so long? Through. Why did it take so long to get this Nook app in the Android store? Because isn't the Nook an Android device? Yeah, I think that they hadn't decided exactly what the heck they wanted to do. Um, you know, if they were gonna just release an app for the device, or go with the app, or excuse me, just release a device that runs Android. Yeah. Or actually release a standalone app for Android too, because that exposes them you know, to possibly reducing their hardware sales. So that's the kind of conflict you go through when you have a hardware company, right. you know, making software for another platform. It's true. Although they're not really a hardware company. They're more of a... Yeah. They well, are... I mean, they became one when they when they right. came out with the Nook Reader. Yeah. Huh. Let's load up the, uh, the book here again. So the load times, does it... It just loads that off the SD card? Uh, well, it... I th it stores some of it locally, like caches it encrypted, uh -huh. um, but yeah, it pulls it all off the server. Oh, so um, if you have no connection, then you got no Nookie. That's yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, I that's... think it does. It, I think it holds quite a bit on here. But that's, isn't that always how life is? It, it's probably like a download thing too. Yeah. Whereas it, it only downloads so much. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't just have the where you have to swipe. You can tap a corner of the page. That's cool. At least I was doing before, yeah. and it would turn. What's that thing up in the right corner? That's a little plus thing that you touch on it. Oh, I couldn't even see that. I think it. I think it's supposed to turn the page, but. Or does it bookmark it? Apparently, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. It doesn't really do anything, Lane. Yeah, I'm going for it every way that I can. I can't. <laughs> look at look at the yeah. He's trying. Oh, there goes the camera. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, the application it is the Nook. It's just called Nook, right? Yeah, it's called Nook for Android, but on just search for Nook and it should uh -huh. come up. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to show too, if if uh, you can bring us back oh, up we here, can. if I go back to the library, there's a shop 
books link. Oh, cool. And this is the the one downside to this app, and it's oh. the same thing that afflicts the Amazon store. It goes yeah. to their website. Browser. Um, but that means, I guess the one up side to it is, is it's really easy to buy stuff for your reader using mm-hmm. your regular web browser because mm-hmm. you can go right onto the same site. Well, that's special by ebooks. It, though, right? Oh, this is yeah. yeah. But you can buy the ebooks right on the Barnes and Noble website, and it'll sync right to your phone uh, or your Nook. So that's cool. Pretty cool. So does it? Syn- it syncs between both. Uh yes. Yeah. yeah. If you have a real anything. Nook and a real phone. Yep. All runs the. It's it supports the same you know DRM format. So your purchases work across all devices uh, from the Barnes and Noble store. So it's a it's a pretty solid app. <laughs> Sorry. Get it. Get it. There's an ant on the floor. Some earthquake going on. Right by your foot. What's Squish. That? There's an ant. Get it. Kill it. Thank you. Done. Big bastard, too. Yeah, we feed him. Now back to our regulars, <laughs> our regularly <laughs> scheduled program. So kind of switching down there. So, yeah, the Barnes & Noble app. Uh, It's called Nook. Search for it. N-O-O-K. It's free. Very cool. So Android 1.6 or greater. Check it out.